quote. Play Fibbage enough about you. What is that? Wait, which one? Wait, what? What? Family friendly. No. Fibbage is one of them's like a lie. Let's just play the regular Fibbage. Uh, Jackbox.tv. Enter the four letter code. Need a room code? Here you go. W Y. X S <laughs> Thanks for fucking reading it, you idiot. <laughs> I also didn't realize that it does this, so I can just do that. <laughs> the fuck am I? Am I a crab moth? Let's go. You can join the audience if you want. Uh. Fibbage four. Masterson, and you're playing the fourth Fibbage. We figured oh, my the dad's calling me. More misinformation than lies. This game is maxed out. Standing room only. Oh, and if Thanks, you're not Sasha. playing, don't forget you can still join the audience. Audience members are audience their own by Come on. the truth and tricking the players. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Round one. Round one. Round one. And that means you earn 500 points for every player you fool. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. I'm not very good at this one. Okay, you want me to do need to be signed into Twitch? Okay, I'm gonna have to turn up the volume at some point. Vintage is choosing the category. First up, safety first. In 1973, Henry Smolinski was killed by his own invention, a prototype of a high-tech blank. Now, use your device to answer a lie that might deceive your fellow players. If you're stumped, you can hit the lie for me button, but lie for me worth half the point. Thanks, Nutella. Okay, go. In 1973, Henry Smolinski was killed by his own invention, a prototype of a high tech blank. on your device now <laughs> holy shit this is so hard okay uh killed by his own invention the high-tech jetpack flying car robot dog horse can opener the get good 2000 electrical socket telephone banana Why does it have to be fucking strawberry? Really? <sighs> Literally, why does the Venezuelan always have to fool me? I do like that I got Sasha. How did you know it was the truth? 
Zielinski added the wings of a Cessna Skymaster to a Ford Pinto. It was airborne for two minutes and then, well. That's pretty impressive, two minutes? That's so impressive. Oh my God, Amy, holy moly. What the hell? I like that we all enjoyed Frenzy's submission as a banana. <laughs> It looked dumb from what I remember. Oh, forget it. Amy, choose quickly. Yellow brick road. Oh, Sasha's gonna know all about this. Wizard of Oz. Wandering through the haunted forest in 1939's The Wizard of Oz, the scarecrow carries a walking stick as well as blank. All right, type in your lies. I forgot. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I know it as well. Who's the puffer fish chicken? I love that little, uh, okay, which one wait, that's you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I swear to God, strawberry. Oh, that was not. Oh, thank God. I actually don't know what it was. Okay, thank God. That was. I was gonna choose wicker basket. Oh, damn, audience. Oh, yeah, give me the points. Give me the points. This is the actual one. Yes, I know you've seen it a hundred times and never noticed a gun. Get in line. <laughs> I was going to say that was my third guess that it was going to be a gun. Oh, my God. Am I on top? Let's go. Let's go panning and scanning for gold. Cookies, VHS, okay. Pay attention. I'm only playing this once. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have a feeling we're going to see anything but the right way to do things. Childs, Mrs. Rohr, like to have you shake hands with the commander. Mrs. Child, Mrs. Rohr. Uh, well, we'd better run through the whole thing again, the right way. This army training video provides soldiers with advice you wouldn't think the military cared about in the oddly titled How to Blank. Okay, enter those lies. Yeah, it's a training video. Oh, I'm just going to tell you this now, Sab. That's just, that's not even like 0.001%. Okay, this army training video provides soldiers with advice that uh, you wouldn't think the military cared about in the oddly titled How to Succeed with Brunettes. How to greet a woman, how to tie a shoe, how to introduce your family to your <laughs> superior, how to be a gentleman, how to say hello, how to shake hands with a married woman, how to talk to women, how to get a girlfriend, how to greet a countess.
let's take a look. Wait, there's no way. There's no way. No way. Holy shit. <laughs> Tie a shoe, Ellie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm surprised. Have you seen that one before, Amy? Choose a category. Sasha, choose a category quickly. Wait, really? Okay, listen up. Oh, okay. During renovations to their ranch home, a family in Crystal Lake, Illinois, opened a wall to shockingly discover blank. Answer your lies now. Amy, do you happen to be a brunette? Don't answer that, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Happy god. Life anniversary. Oh. Which won't let me sub, but fuck their 50% anyways, Pug. birthippers. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Elizabeth. $10. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where is the truth? Okay, during renovations of their ranch home, the Jones family fa uh, of a of Crystal Lake, Illinois, opened a wall to a shocking discover a mausoleum, a dead body, just the letter G, a body, pirate treasure, old photos, McDonald's French fries, a clown, Jesus Christ, and Pira. I have no idea. If it's McDonald's french fries... Okay, at least I got someone. Kick W, good. Thanks for the points. Oh, Ellie, you got someone! Let's go. Oh, I didn't give G the, the award. Let me give them an award. I hate you, Vintage. You keep, you keep getting me. The McDonald's fry Are you kidding me? 1959. As you'd expect, they tasted great. Holy shit, look at Frenzy, what the hell? According to sources familiar with the <laughs> Kiwi. <laughs> Headline from New York Post. Man has kept Richard Nixon's blank for 60 years. Write your lies now. I can't turn the game up right now, no. It's the problem with this game is that there's no settings during the game. <laughs> now, which one's the truth? Ooh. Uh, man has kept Richard Nixon's toupee for 60 years, kidney stones for 60 years, socks for 60 years, 
half eaten sandwich for 60 years, appendix, <laughs> teeth, wedding ring, bath water, penis, chewed gum. Dude, if it's actually penis, there's no way it's gonna be penis. Let's see what everybody picked. Sasha. Get fucked, strawberry. <laughs> it's not gonna be penis. That's weird. It's gonna be penis. Damn, kidney stones is a good one, chat. Well done. Oh, damn, Kiwi. It's gonna be penis. Nah, it's gonna be half eaten sandwich. Yeah. I had a feeling it might be that, I but. I thought Nixon's sandwich uh, was finished by Gerald Ford. Is that a, is, is that a joke? Yo, Frenzy. Yo, Frenzy. Calm the fuck down, please. Time to pick a category. Barry, choose a good one. Time's up. Yeah, Neb. Try this one. For a mere 322 euros, you can stay in an unusual zero-star hotel room in Switzerland that has no blank. Submit your lies now. Lady, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Oh, did you have to get a shot in the mouth? <laughs> Grizzly. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed so hard. <laughs> for a mere 322 euros, you can stay in a, house, in a, in a hotel that... Hotel room that has no electricity, walls or ceiling, ceiling, bed, bathroom, lights, windows, interior walls, sheets. Let's see how it shook out. It might be, oh, I was about to say it might be bed, but I guess it's not bed. Interior walls. Oh, I got fucked. Vintage, you gotta come, you gotta stop being so good. Come on. I think they call that kismet. Oh, no. No. Oh! Who got this one right? Is it. Sh Walls or ceiling? No way. What the? Can you guys stop Googling this, please? <laughs> it's no fun when you cheat. What the fuck, Ellie? How are you beating me? The final fibbage. This is the final fibbage. It's a two-part question, and I'm giving out triple points. They told me walls was too close. Oh. In 2017, I am from Switzerland. No, you're not. Why would you lie to, to so many people? We all know you're from Isle of Man. Several young people pelted them at blank. And after Mayor Don Mills passed in 2019, the village of Cockington in the UK voted to make blank the mayor. Now you're going to write one lie that sounds like it might fit in either of these two blanks. That's double the chance uh. of your fellow players. And 
if it's believable enough to get picked for both blanks, I'll send a bonus your way. Sound good? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put a little extra time on the clock. The audience options? Oh my god. I kind of wish I was in the audience. You've used half of your time if you care about that sort of thing. Oh, they're not good? you're working with these questions have two different truths so for now just pay attention to this one guess the truth for just this question now oh <laughs> i want to choose one for for the lulls Lil Sebastian. Okay, now it's this blank's time to shine. Find the truth for just this question now. I don't, I don't know what I'm going for. This, this is insane. Yeah, this one's difficult. Hmm, let's see what you picked. Damn, Kiwi. Oh, I didn't fall for vintage lie. Let's go. I do like how they do this and so you know which one they go for. <laughs> please be right. Please be right. Fuck! I knew it was going to be audience. I knew it was going to be audience, but I thought it was so funny. <laughs> Pog. We call this lateral thinking. Who else said fu who else said chicken? <laughs> Please be real. Oh, I was real. Let's go. At least I got one of them right. Oh my god. It's a miniature, miniature pony was true. That's so funny. Styles. I hope there's something Mayor that one made Pony sense. Can do to end this Kiwi violence. I just had to, like, I'm sorry, I'm a big Austin Powers fan. What the fuck? Damn. Frenzy! Oh, I, you had such a big lead, I'm surprised. Oh, Ki Kiwi won because Kiwi Pro. <laughs> what, just Q? Damn. You want again? Oh, G, sorry. Uh, well done. Well done. I'll do new players. And this time I won't show the room. Oh, actually, I need uh, settings. That's probably better now. All right, chat, you ready? I'll oh, require Twitch. Can I do that? I'll, I'll let chat make sure. Okay, you're going to need Twitch. 
make sure to like get Twitch added. I'll give you like a couple of minutes. Just sign in. It's it's really easy. You just it's like a couple of clicks. If you want to play, I'll give you a couple of minutes. That was really good. That was really funny. I want to see. Can you go through like the past ones? Because I want to read some of the ones that you did. Settings. Oh, you can't. Uh, I mean, like you need to sign in on Jackbox.tv. Oh, okay. Uh, whilst you do this, I need a drink of water, so I'll be right back. You guys got, you've got time. You've got time. Okay. May I interest you in a room code? Here it is. E I P V. And here is your room code. E I P V. <laughs> I didn't choose my guy. Is this a bit loud or is this good? I feel like I need to go down like one. There we go. That's probably better. Fibbage one. I remember when there wasn't any fibbage at all. Sorry, just doing my daily memory exercises. I remember when I started doing these exercises. Can I skip this? Eight players. I might actually stay awake for this one. And if you're stuck on the sidelines, why not join the audience? Audience members earn their own points by fooling the players. Let's hit it. I didn't steal your animal. I didn't steal your animal. This I didn't even choose my animal. One, which means you get 500 points I chose by proxy because I didn't even choose a answer. different animal. And you'll net a cool thousand for finding the truth. All right. Luckily, I've played this once. So hopefully Show we get the same category. thing. Oh, I never got to choose a category last time. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. No fucking way. Oh, this is Italian tourism. No. 
Why would I choose job? Texas politics? Tired of boring political ads? Sarah Stogner ran for Texas Railroad Commissioner by posing on blank while topless. Now, enter a lie on your device that's believable enough to fool the other so players. Easy. If you're stumped, you can hit the lie for me button, but using it's only worth half the points. Get to it. I want to be part of the audience for one of these, I think. Yeah, turtle. I'm a turtle duck. Turtle duck. That's me. And these are your choices. Pick the one that looks true on your device. Okay. <clears throat> Sarah Stogner ran for Texas by posing on a horse, an oil pump, a Ford F-150. A donkey, well, sorry, donkey manure, a train car, a bridge, a train, a automatic rifle, CS pan, Vogue, whilst topless. Come on, show me what you picked. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hot. Sasha just walked into her room after getting a drink Excellent and was line. like, I haven't li I haven't gotten anyone. And then she got like half the fucking people. <laughs> Get you baited. <laughs> but actually plausible. C-SPAN is a channel that airs Congress proceedings. This has got to be true. I love the two people that live in Texas got it right. The system is truly broken. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh man, I got a lot of likes. What's our next category? Uh, give it a sec. Oh, EIPV. <laughs> Sorry, but that sounds like a condition. <laughs> Oh, so, oh, did the, did the doctors tell you what you have? Yeah, I have EIPV. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's, it's like on a mat appear, really. Let's see what you think of this. Oh, dear. After bad press in 2005, Fox canceled the reality show where women could win $100,000 if they correctly identified blank. Okay, enter those lies. Find the truth. Uh, they could win $100,000 if they correctly identified models, celebrities, a wrench, their biological fathers, a penis, manal genitalia, their spouse's penis, what men were afraid of, tools, countries. I see that there is a... Uh, there's a theme here. Moments of truth. <laughs> Fuck are these answers. I like it's either like celebrities, tools, or a penis. Like they're the three things. <laughs> Damn, Sasha, she's on a roll. Classic. I liked that. That was funny. It has to be this. What? 
That, okay, I will honestly I'm gonna give Kate a round of applause. That's a really good one. There's no way. They had it they had an issue. They couldn't this next question made possible by viewers like you. Oh. Oh. Heads up, it's video time. Please don't be like a recording of me laughing. I'm Freddie from Perth, Western Australia. One day while walking on the beach, I found a message in a bottle, but it wasn't the classic romantic kind because the bottle was full of blank. All right, type in your lies. That's an easy one. <laughs> I don't know, that was kind of weird. But Freddy, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, you know? Audience answers are bad. All right, where's the truth? Okay, okay. It was the bottle was full of eyeballs, marijuana, Kool-Aid packets, water, spoiled cherries, spiders, toenails, kangaroo eyeballs, blood. Kangaroo eyeballs. All right, who picked what? Thank God. <laughs> Meb. <laughs> Meb, we're on the same page at least. Dude, honestly, Kate, can you... I was going to choose marijuana, but I felt like that was too... Okay. Sasha, did you look up how to... Found on the beach was full of toenails. I liked toenails. It also had this very romantic message inside. Enjoy my toes. No one cho chose water, but it was water. <laughs> Mary Jane. Yeah, did you have to look up how to spell that, Sasha? Or are you used to texting your dealer? It's Marijuana. Two, and that means the stakes are doubled. <laughs> Give me a cat. I want to get a quick hit of that marijuana. <laughs> the devil's lettuce. Here's one for you. Need some shut eye? Kenneth Kong says head over to Chunwan, Hong Kong, where you can pay to be lulled to sleep by blank. Submit your lies now. <laughs> the spicy spinach. I like uh I like all the different ways that you can say weed. You can pay to be lulled to sleep by narwhals. Honestly, I would do that. Oh, thanks, Melon. I appreciate that. Okay, here you go. You can, be pay, you can pay to be lulled to sleep by sexy maids, a priest, pretty women, sheep, a five-hour bus ride, chicken nannies, a stingray, screaming, Elvis Presley, women. Thanks, Taylor. Let's see how it shook out. <laughs> oh. 
Hmm, women or pretty women? <laughs> Get baited. <laughs> Please be sheep, please. No, that would be so nice. Is it going to be a five hour bus ride? Fuck, I thought it was going to be a five hour bus ride. I, th I was like, it's so obscure. I don't think anyone in my chat would think about that. I like that Sasha said pretty women. Let's check in on the lifestyles of the rich and or famous. This guy. Before he wielded his hammer as the god of thunder, Chris Hemsworth explained that his first job was working part-time cleaning blank. Write your lies now. I feel like I know this one, but I don't know. The way that chat is talking about the audience options. Did, did, did everyone see Chris Hemsworth tweet the other day? I need to find okay, it. Okay, find the truth. Oh shit. Uh, before he was the God of uh, Thunder, Chris Hemsworth explained his first job was working part-time cleaning up after children, kangaroos, eyeglasses, hotel rooms, bathrooms, Breast pumps, urinals, hammers, murder scenes, toilets. Uh, let's take a look. I have no idea. Get baited. Murder scenes? I panicked. Is this actually true? chat did everyone see this tweet this guy goes bunch of girls told me i look like chris Holmes with do you agree and then <laughs> i fucking loved this tweet this tweet was hilarious Here it is. <laughs> I can't blame them. In 2018 in the UK, 5% of the clients of Divorce Online said that they were leaving their spouse due to Ooh. blank. Answer your lies now. The superior Hemsworth. You know there's three Hemsworth brothers, right? I feel like Luke's okay. Liam... Liam has something to prove because he's not Chris or Luke. Come on now, let's get truthy. Okay, uh, leaving their spouse due to Facebook, bad sex, ugliness, cannibalism, not coming, their smell, body odor, Video games, smelly farts, Fortnite. Five percent of divorces. Hmm, let's see what you picked. Fuck! <laughs> When it's your first one, I hate that. 
I can see Fortnite being the truth. Yeah. It'd be a lot more than 5%. Let's just be honest if it was that answer. <laughs> Sasha, what the fuck? Holy shit. Sasha's the, the only what the video fuck? Game Sasha's googling. Over is Sasha's googling from the Jackbox Party Pack 5. Think about it. Sasha's Googling. Dude, I was so ahead. She got like 8,000 8, points just then. It's final fibbage time. Pay attention because this one's a two-parter and it's worth triple points. Have fun. Wait, Fortnite's The banned? Paris Zoological Park was the first animal reserve to exhibit blank as an attraction. And Kevin Bertolero wants to do away with watches and promotes wearing blank around your wrist. Now you're going to write one lie that sounds like it might fit in either of these two blanks. That's mm. double the chance to fool your fellow players. And if it's believable enough to get picked for both blanks, I'll send a bonus your way. Sound good? Don't worry, I'll put a little extra time on the clock. I have no idea. Obviously, they are two different things. If you care about that sort of thing, I'm confident. Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> okay, here's what you're working with. These questions have two different truths, but we'll focus on this one first. Find the truth for just this question now. All right. Okay. Wearing rubber duckies around your wrist, animal skin, snakes, human bones, worms, slime mold, a 10-inch caterpillar, underwear, condoms, leeches, a hydro flask. I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, now it's this blank's time to shine. Choose the truth for just this question now. I don't... It, it is kind of weird to have condoms. Like, condoms doesn't fit. I have no idea who the fuck wrote Hydro Flask. I think it's chat. But I'll give it a like. Let's see what everybody picked. I'll take it. Real layers to this one. That's worth a bonus. What does double deception mean? Oh, I got them on both. Oh, I'm an idiot. I don't know. Could have could have happened. Thought Sasha was gonna go for worms. Oh, sure, you the duckies. Damn, Haven. That's insane. Damn, double deception. A lie for all seasons. What's the fucking right answer? Leeches? 
There's no way. If it's Hydro Flask, I'm fucking leaving. Believe it or not. No one got that? Scientists Thank can't fuck. quite determine if the yellow slime mold is an animal or a fungus. Science is certain, however, that Kevin's ducky bracelets are adorable. Can I win? What the fuck? You stole it from me! At least I got that. I'm chat's favorite. What the fuck is that? What? That emote, Sammy, is so funny. Oh, shit. Uh, I like that I did better last round. All right, let's play a different game. We can come back to this. Rumorang. What the fuck is this? I have no idea what this is. Wait, shit, wrong one. I want to spice latte. Oh Mark, say thank you so much for 35 months. Happy birthday, Zeus. Hope you had a great day. Not ready for prime time? <laughs> Play along in the audience by going to jackbox.tv. Oh. I have no idea what this is. I'd still sit out if you've played today. It's still early. Thanks True. for that experience. You won in our hearts. The prize, a Aww. subscription. Thank you so much for the two months. I really appreciate that. Glad you enjoyed your time there. Cendrillion. Okay. Go. I'll read it out as well. The room code is P G S D. <laughs> Uh, you join the audience once everyone's in, then you type in PGSD. Ooh, Leslie got in. Oh, I'm gonna start. Three, two, one. It's rumorang time, where you can make friends or points, but not both. <laughs> I'll be your host, here to guide you through a game that's a little reality TV and a lot of personalities. This game is played in five Oh rounds. my god, I read that as five hours, and I said there's no way there's five so hours of content in, in this. If you didn't pick one, I went ahead and did that for you. This is the role you will be playing, so play it up in your answers, or completely ignore it and go after each other. I'm not your mother. The goal is to gain favor with your fellow players by answering questions in a funny way, a genuine Chat's gonna hate me. or a brutal way, where you stare them in the eye while stabbing them in the back. Drama! Let's meet the roomies. Look at me! Ooh, maximum players, maximum potential. Look at me! <laughs> I love woodworking. <laughs> Excel is a radio clown. Oh no, I've lost my sounds. Neb loves flirty cowboy. Bagels being a snob. That checks out. Rich knight. Damn. A nut farmer. A couple's therapist. Van Van. Bossy news an anchor. You'll be entering Thanks, yes. the game with five points in your private bank. <laughs> points are gained through popular answers and lost if you are eliminated. But I'll be keeping the totals a secret until the very end. How about we rumorang? What the fuck is this? Round one. Introductions. You walk into the Rumorang house reading your favorite magazine. What is it? Wait, what? 
answer the prompt on your device. Remember to use your unique point of view when answering. Details about yourself and other players are always fair game. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is, but... Audience polls, who makes this look easy? I'm gonna spice latte. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pugs 11, so you just 300 bids. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I'm gonna move my camera down because there's a timer. There you go. You got less than a. You got about a minute to do it. You are halfway through your time, roomies. Damn, Sasha's got 95% of the votes. Holy moly. I'm so... Don't be nervous. Don't worry, you're all good. Who will eventually have to flee the country? Bagels or real... Real lines? Real lines. Time's running out, people. <laughs> come on, real, come on. Don't be, don't, don't hate yourself. Just be. What? What's your favorite mag magazine? Just put your favorite magazine. Oh. Yes, make those voices heard. Social media drama. Pokemon Matt. Mag. Okay. Almond Delight. <laughs> woodworking Weekly. <laughs> I do love my woodworking. <laughs> Playboy. Oh, Neb. Oh, okay. Yeah, you are a car bro, aren't you? Boss Bitch News. French Vogue. I would never allow myself to American Vogue. Clown play. <laughs> what the fuck? I know which answer. Uh, I don't reveal what we you? did y the what other day. Now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, what? Wait, what do I need to do? Pick my favorite. Oh, the cat turned your computer off? Oh my god. Well, you wrote D. That's pretty funny. Uh, Hurry, I'm sweating over here. <laughs> Here's who received votes. Yeah, if you, you were signed into Twitch, so you should be able to get back in. One vote equals one point. No one liked my woodworking weekly? What the fuck? And here's who took it. Literally the someone de like gets an advantage. De logged and they did you better than me. From elimination. Time to thin the herd. I'm you dead. will now vote for a player to be eliminated. The player with the most votes will leave the house. If the player you voted for is successfully eliminated, you'll steal some points from them. Let that sink in. Choose a player to eliminate now. Oh and my God. out of reason. Let them know what they did. I feel like a dick. What the hell? Not sure who to pick? Maybe you didn't like their answer. The eliminated player is... <laughs> I knew Let's it already, exactly motherfuckers. Turned on you. <laughs> I knew it already. I sent who voted to eliminate you and why to your device. Just so you know who to be mad at. 
Anyone that voted it's for you Zeus. is taking a point from your private bank. My a little per salt for your wound. Before you go out the door, now is your chance to say any final words to your former roommates. You have a few seconds to speak aloud or type your parting words. Oh, don't worry. I'll be typing them. I've heard enough of that. <laughs> Shine on, you crazy <laughs> diamond. <laughs> My goodness, an unexpected arrival. <laughs> hey, you've got a brand new roomie. Get in here, new roomie. <laughs> There's something a little familiar about you, but you've got a new name and different information about yourself. So, what do I know? <laughs> it's not me. It's not me, chat. It's not me. I promise. Let's dive into round I promise. Two. Connections. It's not me. You and another player think of yourselves as a famous fictional or historical duo. Who is it? I've chosen another player for you to talk about. Their name is on your device. Wait, what? You, wait. You think of yourselves as a famous fictional or historical duo. Who is it? Um... I don't even know any duos. Half the time is up. Plan accordingly. Wait, I'll, I'll do, wait, wait, wait. This house is a rental. Okay, I got it. Oh, I should have done Batman and Robin. Damn. But I got one. It's all happening. This one was difficult. Shrek and Donkey. How many Shrek and Donkeys are they going to be? Okay, okay. I'm glad that I didn't do Batman and Robin. <laughs> I mean, they're a duo. <laughs> Nancy and Jeffrey Landgrab. Didn't Queen Antoinette, like, kill everyone? <laughs> YouTube sponsor in Twitch Prime. Oh, God. Which answer do you love the most? Vote on your device now. She was French. Killing people was a sport. Yeah. Let's see those votes. <laughs> I can everyone chose. Everyone's choosing Rhea. The winner. Uh, and when you get mentioned in this round, you get points too. <laughs> yeah, but that's kind of the funny part you about alone it. Alone, pick the player who will be eliminated. Elimination time has arrived. Brutal. Uh. Vote for a player to be eliminated from the game.
Oh no, dude. The eliminated I swear to fucking god. Is... Don't. <laughs> okay, thank god. Thank we god. all saw this coming. Uh... Uh... Anything you want to say? That's not me, it's your new roommate. Whoa. Okay, we get it. The house won't be the same without <laughs> Wow, the game snitched on us. Who could that be? You know, even though Van Van got taken out. Specimen. Right? Hello, stranger. I still feel like I was the one that lost. Vin Van, a hobbit classic. So happy to have them here. Round three, and it's a quickie. Everyone can bring an animal from the zoo next door home for one night. What animal are you borrowing? We're going to do this one in the dark. Answer the prompt, but when it's time to vote, you won't know who wrote what. Okay, we went there. <laughs> I know who said that as well. We all know who said that. Answer really caught your eye. Load <laughs> on your device now. Uh. Who got the votes? Swap points with another player. They got seven. If you didn't win the advantage but still want to benefit from it, time to speak up. I feel like the I feel like Critic Tom got like so much, so many points. That'd be like definitely in the lead. I think it's elimination time. Gasp. Vote for the player that you want eliminated. Parting words. Oh, 
That's enough. Nothing will be the same. They found me. I mean, let's see who it is. Oh my god. <laughs> you what do you know, fresh blood. Hello. Welcome, new player. Cry toxes. No way. Never has tried self care. That's actually accurate. Round four. The fire starter round. Another player smells weird. Who is it? And what happened? Select the player you want to write about on your device and then answer the prompt. Who scares you a little, Vixella or Cryptic Tom? This is just MCC chat. I chat. Zwez, you're my favorite streamer. I watch all your YouTube videos. Half the time she had a crush on Randall. That's terrifying. True. Lots of thoughts. Lots of feelings. That's actually true. What the fuck? This is wrong. <laughs> Factual, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> true, actually accurate. Dude, Sasha was Sasha woke up like when I was um well to read this. What the fuck? This is this is slander. Okay, this is slanderous. Nerd candy. What the fuck? Thank you so much, Nerd Candy, for the 13 months. I really appreciate it. Fell into gasoline. Oh god, Neb. Which one is the best okay. answer? So You're I was device now. So I was trying to recover from everyone's favorite thing, jet lag. And so I was trying to sleep in and Sasha was trying to get up and Sasha dropped her water bottle. She dropped her phone. So fucking loud. Like seriously. Here's our challenge winner. What and the if you got mentioned, you get points too. Oh. Save! Thanks, thanks, Lotus. You get safety, and you can choose another player to keep safe as well. Lotus, have I ever told you how great of a chatter you are? You're like the greatest chatter. I've never seen such a great a ch chatter in my entire life. <laughs> and you're really good at clip. It's elimination time. Love it. Vote for a player to be eliminated from the game. Grizzly, I was I was just brown nosing. You are halfway through your time, roomies. You're all my favorites. The Except Sasha, she's my girlfriend. Player is... <laughs> Fuck you guys. Want uh, to know who did this? <laughs> Fuck you. Five of you! Five of you! Happy birthday! Happy, really? Don't Any you worry. Words? A 
I've heard enough of that. Gone, but not forgotten. We'll always remember the we have a new Zeus. guest. <laughs> oh, it's a brand new look who's back! Hello, stranger. Hello. <laughs> My name's getting longer, bro. Congratulations on making it to the finale. I'm so proud so of myself proud of making it to the finale. I haven't been voted off four fucking times. We did lose ah. some friends along the way. <laughs> Thank you, Bagels, for the gift and sub to Piss Boy, who's on a 10-month streak that you of being sub. alone deserve to win. Pull it together. It's the finale round. Sponsored by Advice. True. The way to tell other people to do things. So I true. want you to think about everything that's happened. They want to tell me that I'm meant to wash to my hands and, and feet in the, <laughs> in the shower. After everything you've done, how do you sleep at night? Who is never allowed in your room? <laughs> Not with them piss uh, Well, you know who's never caught COVID? I don't want to say... Watching your Zeus stream. All right, fair enough. I'll take that as a compliment. Comfortably underneath my five blankets. Just get one weight blanket. Subscribe with Prime. True, true, true. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <clears throat> okay. Also accurate. <laughs> like a baby because I do no wrong. <laughs> With clean hands, knowing I well, knowing fully well I wash them after pee. <laughs> Thinking about your mom. <laughs> it's time for the final vote. Who do you think should win Rumorang? Uh, vote on your device now. Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't know Sasha became a caveman. She watched that one episode honestly, of The Office where Kevin doesn't speak a lot of words. Why speak word? <laughs> Wait, what was it? Uh oh. Sasha does a really good impression of it. Why say more word when fewer do trick? Yeah, that's it. Pick up the pace. This All right, come on. Everyone loves a comeback okay, story. Let's come see on. Who was really there for you. Everybody loves a And who took one last chance to hold you back? Literally everyone! Oh what? Points I've been keeping track of. Oh. <laughs> the deserved one and I dialysis platform so you have somewhere you can laugh and I just get thrown to the wolves. What the fuck? Who's it going to be? <laughs> Holy shit, my alter ego Cryptic Tom literally Oh my god. Ow. Yeah, thanks Jess for the 28 months. I appreciate it. Speech, darling. You've earned it. What the fuck? <laughs> We're good, baby. Bye. Oh my god, like a boss just says nothing and leaves. Oh my god. Minus one. Minus one. Oh my god, I feel like E Rob. I'm leaving.
leaving. I'm like, we're not playing this one again. All right, is junk to oh, which one's good? I th I feel like this one's not very. I feel like this one's fun with people that you know. So one of these two. Do junk. Junktopia. All right, we'll do Junktopia. We want another round. I don't want to be dunked on again. Gotcha. We'll do Give it. We'll do. Rage. We'll do one more fibbage. How about that? Does this make you feel better? It, uh, yeah, it does, Munchkin. Thank you very much for somewhat putting a band-aid on the problem of me being bullied. I didn't even look at the room code. This is a... Okay. Be careful, chat. This is a really difficult code. Oh, you need to auto... Okay, I'll do auto-present. How does your group want to showcase their writing? We'll do auto-present. Um... All right, chat, you ready? And the room code is N N K A. And we're doing auto present uh presentation. Auto. Huh? Remember. Ribbit. Can Wawa? Ribbit. Okay, yeah, yeah, let me know when you come back up. Band-aid on a bullet hole. Oh. Okay, all right. Band-aid on a chopped off limb. <laughs> Rip it. Uh. Wawa? All right, Sasha's just going to the bathroom. No, she's not. She's gonna eat, feed you now, Jesus. All right. Uh, yeah. Make sure if you play, like, oh, we've got a lot of people that want to play. So if you could just, if you play once, just at least wait two rounds before trying again, just to let other people get in. Just be nice. Zeus, who's behind you? You mean Justin Bieber or do you mean Paul Rudd? Or, oh wait, Jess, Jess is. Wait, Sasha, you back? Okay, you're back. Howdy, humans. Welcome to Junktopia. <laughs> Howdy, humans. Welcome to Junktopia. Y'all may have noticed I've turned you into frogs, but don't worry. I'll poof one of you right back if you make the most profit reselling some strange antiques. See, I love weird old human things, but I hate their boring backstories. That's oh, he would hate I the baguette you. story then. Here's the plan. First, I'll take you to a local shop to buy a mysterious item. Then you're gonna name that item and give it some funny details. Make me laugh, gosh darn it. Finally, it's time to showcase your silly item so your peers can appraise it. The money you paid for your item will be subtracted from the appraisal value and voila, you flipped it for a profit. Hopefully, I feel like I'm gonna be so bad at this. The most money at the end of the game wins. Think of it like a quest to get your bodies back. A real zero's journey. Yeah, this might be a drawing one. I, I don't think you bid. Purchase. I think they give you stuff. All right. On your device, you'll see three items to choose from. The item you get is going to be appraised based on the funny backstories you're going to write. So buy something you oh, think it's, okay, it's typing. hilarious. Buying a more expensive item means you'll get just a little bit less profit when you flip it. When it comes to winning, there's more than one way to skin a unicorn. Whoa. 
All right, time to go shopping, everybody. Not playing? Hop on the lily pad and join our audience. Those discounts are courtesy of the audience. And thanks, that audience. The shopping. I hope you like that. Appreciate the four percent off. Now it's time to flip these babies. Let's start with a name. What should people scream in terror when they see your item? Does he want us to be... T I, I've got an idea for this. Wait, how... Wait, who got like a big discount? I got 4%. Did someone get like 50% off? Uh, I don't think people Next buy. I think he buys. Two hilarious facts about your item. For each fact, you can either fill in one of two prompts or write something of your own. Spin me a tale. Your time starts now. Get hopping. I got zero, Sag. Write two facts about your item. All right. I made it interesting and also tried to be funny, but that's the problem I tried, so. Time for us to see how you've spruced up these items. Here's what we'll do. You're gonna showcase a chunk of your objects, appraise them, and then we'll do it again for the rest of the items. Group one. The Goblet of Death. This goblet, this goblet's pretty color is meant to deceive you from the fact that if you drink from this, you will die. This was originally gifted to your mom. What an incredibly rich backstory. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> the motherfucking nightmare. <laughs> To operate the propeller, one must sacrifice. Oh, fuck. The small floor in it is cursed beyond fucking belief. To operate the propeller, God. one must sacrifice a Twitch streamer. Jesus. Piss boy the clown. Mom, I threw up. Also, do you got games on your phone? You got a knack for these facts, Jack. It's an interesting backstory. 
bored for real. <laughs> this scene is depicting me bored wanting to play my games, but I'm stuck here with my grandpa. <laughs> If a little boy could talk, he'd say, damn. Sheesh. Let's appraise the items we saw. First, a review of some of the worst things I've ever seen. For each pair, pick the item that had the funnier facts. Try your best to recall your laws. The numbers have been run. Let's see what your items are now worth, dollar-wise. Wait, did you just highlight a message, piss boy? This item's true worth is... $8,000? what you think, audience? And here's the cash you put down. Holy you shit. Got a deal on that one. Holy shit. Dude, this is gonna be so high. Motherfucking nightmare. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's still more money. Damn. For your shopping pleasure, some new treasures. I call them my pleasure treasures. Uh-oh. Oh my god. No! 10 on YouTube's video scale. <laughs> A blood-curdling fear for those who possess this doll. I know who wrote this one. It was used by some as a toilet roll. But this object is certainly making me feel things. I wash my hands, Jesus. Bagels, thank you so much for the gifted sub, though. Oh. A little known secondary use is it helps you catch vegetables. Big bass. The medal was awarded for growing the largest ear of corn. Check out this spicy number. Child holder. If you sit in it, you'll be trapped forever unless you fall out of it, but you'll still be trapped. Here's how it worked. You sit down and tie your hands to the sides. Eh. Zeus, wash your hands. Just resubscribe re -subscribe for six months in a row. Sasha, it's clearly life-sized. The clothes were made previously for Yuna. A real treasure. Prepare your appraisals. All of the tabulations have been made. It's time to see what these toilet puppies are worth. The real value of this item is... But you bought it for... That's pretty funny. This is de that's definitely something Sasha would have said. Unsuccessfully. Sag. I love this one. This one was really funny. Holy shit. 
That's insane. Let's see who's jumping ahead. Sasha and Melissa are top two. Damn. That is insane. We have three rounds of this. I have to be funny for three rounds. A flip so nice will do it twice. You're gonna go shopping again. Shit. Except this round, there's gonna be a mystery item. Could be anything. A treasure for a song. Or a complete trash for a very expensive song. And what makes something pr trash though? Do I go mystery chat? I feel like I should go mystery. I'm gonna go mystery item. I regret going mystery item. Pony up that cash. Time is running out. Some nice discounts there from the audience. Thanks, audience. I appreciate the 3% discount. Now it's time to stop. And that was the moment he knew he fucked up. Yeah. I I had one that I could have gotten that was so good too. Oh my god. Good talk. Get that name in. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck was that? Four, three, two, one. I feel like chat's not going to want to buy my stuff, but anyway. I mean, I guess technically you're not buying it. He's buying it. Better get a move on on that last fact. You're missing the funny spells. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to be funny. It's difficult. It's so hard. Let's see how far you dove in those dumpsters. 
I'm not cut out for this. Melissa, you Let's did so well in the last these one. Creepy curios. Oh my god. Why wash your hands when they can be piss hands? Its eyes are so big because Sasha dropped coffee again. Huh, a lot to think about here. Bad case of Ligma. <laughs> he caught Ligma from playing too much Fortnite. Sadly, he'll never recover because he is chronically online. Interesting. The scissors from hell. These scissors were meant to melt the hair from your head instead of cut. Boiling oil was placed within the chamber to keep your hair well oiled and hot enough to melt. The real treasure is the frogs we made along the way. Eye candy. Wear these to see the hottest men or women around. Whenever you see them, you'll want to either date or reject them. It's the best worn by everyone, mostly for short people since they have trouble seeing from far away. Golly, that's something. <laughs> Time for some praiseful appraisals. There we go, done. Perfect for Sasha, true. Sasha had to look across. Time the to world. see how much these barf bags are worth. Need a telescope. The appraisal value is. Damn. And you snagged it for. Thanks, Zane. Appreciate it. This one's gonna be really good. Eleven votes. How did you get 11 votes? <laughs> Sasha's won this. Holy shit. What's up? Greninja, it's good to see you. Thank you very much for the birthday message. Keep your eyes on the prize and also on these new items. Dude, I am ah oh, man, when I when I got those fucking scissors, there was like no there's no hope. Dude, uh, horse girl trotters, are you kidding me? D's right ear, are me best me horsey shoes. I <laughs> like right horses. No play input lame. Uh D wait, 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 wait horses and play games about horses basically. <laughs> The face of piss father. Perfect to hang up on the bathroom wall. So he can judge you if you don't wash your hands after you pee. I'll keep my opinion to myself. <laughs> Is that Ryan Reynolds? It does kind of look like Ryan Reynolds. What the fuck is even this? You need to, did someone say butterbeer? <laughs> Here is a goblin with extremely long arms. He has tiny feet meant for kicking. This is part of a series called Harry Potter Stretched Edition. What the fuck? That's imaginative. It's you. Barbecue baby. I'll let chat see it. It's modeled after ancient sims roasting their babies. The style of grill is mid-century modern. <laughs> Wow. 
Dude. Fucking every single one of these was like so highly rated. What the hell? The numbers have been run. Let's see what your items are now worth, dollar-wise. I just got egoed so hard. What do you mean? The final value is... Dude, the, these, that was you so funny. Much. I feel like this is going to have a lot of votes. The piss father. <laughs> Did you tweet something? Greninja. Oh, have you been have you been speed running? Dude, what the fuck is with this? This is it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I'm speed running now. Are you good at speed running? Before I poof you back to humanity, it's time to give your set of items a name. Use your curatorial eye to tie your treasures together. Start naming your collection now. Yeah, this game is very long. We'll play Fibbage. We'll be able to get through like one round of Fibbage after this, and then it's Sons of the Forest time with... Um... Gluon and Sasha. Seven days in speed running, but I like it. Like, have you completed a run yet, or are you doing the thing where you're going to practice for like six weeks and then finally do it? Oh, you're actually running now? Nice. That's exciting. It is a lot of fun. I got so angry yesterday, though, because I kept getting fucked. But I'm I'm sure you'll be like, you've got the wall of things. I missed what? PP Piss Girl. Oh, for Select short people, Greninja Starter Pack. <laughs> PP Piss Girl and Piss Boy's Life. It was Sasha. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's Greninja starter pack is different to for short people. You're not even Catch short. You are kind of short though. You're like 5'8". The Deathly Duos. Nightmare Fuel. Should have just been called Annabelle, really. Fishy Sims. Your worst fears. See, I feel like whenever someone's lacking something, they they make up for it in other areas of their life. Like you're not six foot tall, but you can play Minecraft real well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not winning this. It sucks. Vault their way to victory. No, it's like people who are like, For what the fuck? Humanists. 
Sasha, you turned into a what dude. Happened? What the hell? Is there something you need to tell me? Holy shit, you dem you decimated everyone. What the hell? What did I cut? Oh, God. All right. Let's play Fibbage. Uh, if you've played before, please, like, actually let other people play. Especially if you've played Fibbage before. Yeah, if you have played, do not play again. All right. I'll, get, I'll DM you. There you go. I'll see you later, Nip. Uh... Oh, wait, I can choose what I am. I'll do this one. All right, get ready. Want a room code? Sure you do. Y, I, R, Q. It, you just have to lie. Nice. All right, let's go. I'm the scary one, yes. Hi, I'm Cookie, and you're about to play Fibbage. I, this one's good, like, uh, like as audience as well, and, um, and online. Cabbage. I feel like you don't need to be in eight person players, for this one. Eight I feel friends, like, eight human beings um, to defraud. what's the one that I, like, oh, Quiplash is better in person, I think. Audience. Audience members earn points by guessing the truth and fooling the players with their lies. Audience is okay, so fun. Yeah, go. actually, like, I love it when the audience is also good. I'm surprised. This, I've, I, this is the best Fibbage. Because sometimes I'm this like, I don't round like Fibbage. One, which means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Show me a category. All right, Grizzly, choose something good. Unpopular opinions. First up, in 2019, Not washing your hands Canadian is fun. Canadian-based publication Chatelaine published a passionate and polarizing article titled Why Blank Haters Are Wrong. Now, use your device to enter a lie that might deceive your fellow players. If you just can't come up with anything, use the lie for me button to get a suggestion for half the points. What are you waiting for? Go! I had to. I just had to. They gave the Canadian question to Grizzly. I thought Grizzly was from Manitoba. <laughs> These are your choices. Who would Take know? Best guess at the truth are and you from British Columbia? Device. Uh, publish a passionate and polarizing article titled Why Cheese Whiz Haters Are Wrong. Why Hockey Haters Are Wrong. <laughs> Why beaver haters are wrong. Why piss haters are wrong. Why WWE haters are wrong. Why critic Zeus haters are wrong. Why millennial haters are wrong. Why piss boy haters are wrong. Why public restroom haters are wrong. Moment of truth. <laughs> Why would you choose piss? I'm gonna be piss boy. Or piss. Or hockey. 
Oh my god. Dude, please be right. Fuck! God damn it, Greninja. Is it Cheese Whiz? Is it Cheese Whiz? It's gonna be Cheese Whiz. Thank you, Grizzly. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was also I, I appreciate it. Wait, what? Sammy? It or not, it was also <laughs> What? Sam's? Now you have to get married. <laughs> ah, you hate to see it. Uh, oh man. It's funny. Well, the real answer is boring. True. Okay, pick a category. Easter eggs. Ah, here's a good one. An eagle-eyed college student spotted something cheeky in Hieronymus Bosch's painting, The Garden of Earthly Delights. A hell dweller's bare bottom is tattooed with blank. Write your lies now. Chat, are your are the audience answers funny? <laughs> Not really. Ah. Pick the truth. The Garden of Earthly Delights, a hell dweller bear, dweller's bare bottom was tattooed with Crayola. Two monkeys fighting, playable sheet music, cheese whiz, the face of a donkey, chocolate, a penis, your mom, their partner, a butterfly. Let's see what you picked. <laughs> I did choose uh, sheet music. Unfortunately, it's not your mom. See, that's all I got. That's all I got. Audience. Thank you, audience. I appreciate you. Maybe I need to be more specific. This has got to be true. Yeah. That's too weird. That's like you oddly can specific. Go online and hear the butt song from hell if ye dare. I've got something here I know you haven't seen. Pay attention, I'm only playing this once. For you, special delivery. Special delivery! That's why you put it through the window instead of putting it through the letterbox. Couldn't get that through the letterbox. Well, what is it anyway? Yeah. Come on, this way. This box is supposed to contain a fortune in family heirlooms, but due to a mix-up, it just contains blank. Enter your lies now. Is that the queen? No, the queen's dead. Okay, it contains Tums, a killer robot, ducks, a dead body, packing peanuts, cheese, chains, parts of the family, a mummy, baguettes.
Okay, what everybody pick? Packing peanuts. I feel like I'm not gonna get my, no one's gonna choose mine. See, I thought that that's what it could have been, but I was like, that's, it's a bit obvious. Thank you, thank you. I thought I would not get any. Thank you. Ooh, audience, damn. This one was way too weird. Damn it! Ah, uh, god damn it, Greninja. Well, that's depressing. Wait, what the fuck? This is the 19, like 10s. What the fuck is this? It's because I trusted you. That's why you fooled me twice. Ooh, we're so fucking close. I was like, there's no way the 1930s has a killer Onto robot. Round two, where all point values are doubled. Show me a category. <laughs> Star Wars movies look amazing. Below zero. Ooh. Now listen up. Few dare to visit the harsh frozen tundra of Antarctica, but in 1978, Emilio Marcos Palma became the first person to blank there. Okay, enter those lies. The last good one was, um, The third one. <laughs> what the fuck is that one called? The Revenge of the now, Sith. Which one's the truth? No, that's not right. Um, Marcos Palmer became the first person to piss there, die there, have s sex there, relieve stress there, pee there, be imprisoned there, poop outside there, be born there, and camp there. All right, who picked what? <laughs> Pog. <laughs> it might be peeing, but I don't know. <laughs> I told you. See, I trust you, Greninja. We went for the same one. You. Zeus, you child. Not my fault. It got, it got people. If it's piss, I'm going to be fucking livid. I was going to do be born. The uh... short story is that it was a ploy by Argentina to secure a claim on a piece of the continent. Yeah, I had a feeling it was because I remember hearing a story about that, but I wasn't a thousand percent sure. Got some likes though. No, 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 no. The Wanna third, the, the like, you've got well, too bad. Star Wars. The Return of the Jedi. <laughs> I don't remember what the fucking movie is. Star Wars, Anakin Skywalker. Replaced with blank. All right. I don't remember it. What was it? I have Anakin. I have the high ground. That one. Holiday gifts are taken from Legend and replaced with... Revenge of the Sith? Wait, that was actually Revenge of the Sith? That was good. I actually went and saw it in Italy, Come and my friend now, whose birthday trendy. it was, I sat next to him and he translated it all from Italian to English. And then like six years later, I watched it again. And I remember the whole thing, like I watched it in English because my friend told me. Uh, replaced with onions, ducks, stale corn dogs, coal, Dog food, drugs, bricks of cocaine, 
Cat Magazine's Bums. Okay, how do we do? And it was also... Damn, a few people said that. I think they call that kismet. Did I choose onions? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Don't be the right answer. Please don't be. Sab, damn. Bricks of cocaine. Oh, wait, that's my lie. Lol. Cat, don't be cat magazines. Not. Dog food? The victim believes the leather coat and purses were swapped out for dog food. Police are on the lookout for sharply dressed hungry dogs. <laughs> Ironically, I was going to put cocaine. Why are we in the same brain? It's, we play Minecraft. That's why. Minecraft is all, all think the same. What's our next category? Ooh. Give this one a shot. A restaurant in Lloret de Mar, Spain is notorious for including something very special with every meal. Blank. Submit your lies now. Ooh. Oh, you finally got a good audience one. Let's go. Chris Hemsworth is is a hilarious answer for all of these. <laughs> a restaurant in Lorette de Mar, Spain, is notorious for including right, something very special truth? with every meal. Chris Hemsworth. Gold leaf caviar, chef's bath water, caviar, a free glass of wine, poop, a wet kiss, a 7.8 earthquake, a blood drawer, crack, a live horse. What? What? Let's take a look. <laughs> Hi, Kaboo. Thank you so much for, fine day for birth. the nine months. It is a fine day for birth. I was going to choose wet kiss. I was going to choose. Damn. That's a good one. Fuck. Pretty sneaky. What? I. Ch <laughs> There's no way it's crack. What? No. That would make no sense. A blood draw? Technically, we chose the same thing because I went caviar and you went caviar. I just did gold yeah, leaf caviar. This, together. this simulated earthquake is a major draw at the Disaster Cafe where diners are periodically covered in their meals. I thought that that was someone was being an, doing an insensitive joke about what had just happened in um, in Turkey. I didn't think that that would actually it's be time for the fair. <laughs> A two-part question worth triple the points. All right. <laughs> Don't blow it. 
But why would any, anyone want that? I don't know. Scientist Larry Rogers claimed he stumbled on a formula for making wheat blank. And a 2005 neuropsychology study found that if you are left-handed, you are also likely to be blank. <laughs> now you're gonna I, write one <laughs> lie that sounds like it might fit in either of these two. Blanks. I'm sorry, but am I am I am I am That's I me? Am I chance to fool your fellow players? As and soon as you said and you at 2005 blanks, neurotoxicological you what, study found that if you are left-handed, you are also likely sound to good? be gay. Don't worry, <laughs> I'll thought. put a little extra time on the clock. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> uh. Halfway through your time. Uh, That was close. <laughs> okay, here's what you're working with. These Wait, questions have you're likely two to be Pedro truths, Pascal. We'll on this one first. Making I'll wheat pe the truth pe Pedro just Pascal. This question now. Uh, if you're left-handed, you're likely to be bulletproof, smelly, exactly six feet tall, slower, gay, left nostriled, toxic. Stressed Tola. Interesting. That's so weird. I feel like Greninja wrote okay, left now nostril. This blank's time to shine. And I don't know Guess why. the truth for just this question now. Whoever wrote Pedro Pascal. I feel like everyone became unhinged. Let's see what everybody picked. Holy mo- Wait, you chose both? Dude, oh, audience, you just deceptive. got like so many points. You might win. Holy moly. Was it someone else's lie? It's got to be someone else's Annie. lie. I just couldn't and stop. It was also yeah. Yeah. I was going to say. Don't be someone well, else's. That was weird. It's like it was also. Thanks, Kylie. So believable. It's worth a bonus. Holy shit. Okay, Avery's one. Avery's one, hands down. Oh, Greninja didn't do that. Right. Is that the right answer? No. It's, I feel like you're likely to be um, left nostril. There's no, no one's bulletproof. Wait, what? Okay, at least I got that one. It was either Greninja answer or the right answer. <laughs> Dude, I got so many fucking points. Are you kidding me? Well done, Avery. Well deserved. Ah, uh, look at that. I'm. Everyone likes me. I'm funny. 
wheat bulletproof wheat you did so well audience you would have won the like last round that we did a fibbage that was fun well hope you enjoyed some jackbox party pack nine we might bring this back that was so much fun